Hello Number Blocks fans! Today, we'll show you how to draw some of your favorite Number Blocks characters, Octoblock and Octonaughty. So which side are you on? Kids Toy Box! First, we'll start with Octoblock. It's easy. All you'll need is some paper, a pencil, a sharpie, and some crayons. Here are two shades of pink, a lighter one and a darker one, a dark purple and brown, and a black. Now we can start. First, draw a line down the middle and draw Octoblock's eight blocks. Use the center line as your guide. Did you know that Octo means eight? And then draw four blocks on one side and another four blocks on the other. Octo block usually appears in a two by eight form. Once you've drawn all his blocks, we can now draw his superhero mask. Draw two circles on the top row, one on each side, but slightly crossing down to the second row. Then once you've drawn the two circles, retrace them like this so they form a number eight lying on its side. Because, if you noticed, Octoblock's mask is actually a number 8 lying on its side. Then draw 4 triangles on each side to form the spikes on his superhero mask. 4 spikes on each side makes 8 spikes because he's Octoblock. Then draw 2 inner circles inside the mask. One on each side, but carefully cross over one line, but not the other. So the mask will look like one strap over and the other strap under. Once you're done with this mask, we can now draw his eyes. Draw two sausage shapes for his eyelids, which are usually half closed. Then the pupils of his eyes and two smaller circles for the reflection. For his mouth, draw a half circle slightly leaning on one side with the corners curved and then draw a smaller one inside for his lips. Now for his arms. Draw six curves, three on each side. Start from the middle of each row, beginning from the second row. Then two curved lines for his legs. Complete the arms and legs by following the shape and curving at the end. Then add little circles along them for the suction cups, just like those in the arms of an octopus. Once you've completed his general shape, you can now retrace to finalize the lines. Remember that Octoblock's mask has one strap that goes over and the other goes under. Finalize with a pencil and then with a marker. Octoblock, draw! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, draw! With the marker outline complete, you can erase the pencil lines. Now comes the fun part, coloring! Start with a lighter shade of pink and color in the highlights of Octoblock on the upper left side of his blocks. Then use the darker shade of pink to color in the rest of the blocks. Octoblock's eyes, mouth, and arms are not actually pink, but a darker shade of purple. We'll come to that later. Use your pink crayon to color in his suction cups. Once done, you can now get your purple crayon and color in the highlights of his mask, arms, and legs. Did you know that an octopus is called octopus because it has eight arms? just like Octoblock. Then use the brown crayon to color in the rest of his eyelids, mask, mouth, arms, and legs. Octoblock, color! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, color! After that, you can use the black crayon to color in the pupils of his eyes. Also use black to add shadows under his mask, mouth, and the lower right edges of his blocks. Also add shadows on the inner lower parts of his arms and legs. Add a shadow too under his legs so it will look like he's standing on the ground. And of course, don't forget to add his numberling. 
You can stop here or you can use a cotton bud to blend in the colors. Just rub the tip across the colors, starting from the lighter color to the darker colors to smoothen them out. And there you have it! Number block 8. Doesn't he look great? Now let's draw Octonauti! Other than paper, the crayons that you'll need are two shades of pink, one light and one dark, two shades of green, one brown, and one black. So let's get started! Let's begin by drawing a center line down the middle. And then drawing four blocks to the right and another four blocks on the left side. Just like how you would draw octo block. Because octo means eight and they both have eight blocks. Next, draw two standing ovals for his eyes on the top row, one on each side but closer to the center. Next, draw a rectangle over his eyes from end to end, which will serve as a guideline for his mask. Then draw his actual mask, which slightly arches over his eyes at the top and follows the shape of his eyes at the bottom. And just like Octoblock, Octonauti has spikes too. So draw four spikes above his eyes, two on each side, and another four spikes below. Make sure they're peeking out from under his mask. Then draw inner ovals inside his two eyes, and a diagonal line in both eyes going down to the center for his eyelids. Then draw a circle under his eyelid for his pupil and a smaller one for the reflection. Then draw a half circle for his mouth slightly leaning towards the right. Trace an inner half circle for his lips. And draw a line across the top of his lips for his teeth. Add a curve for his tongue. Then draw six curved lines, three on each side coming out from the middle of each row. These will be his arms. Add two curved lines at the bottom for his legs. Then you can draw out his arms. Make sure to make the ends a little bit wider. Add little circles on each arm for his suction cups. Then do the same for all his other arms. Now let's draw his legs. They're very similar to his arms, but make the bottoms flatter so they look like they're standing on the ground. The suction cups should face downwards. Now that we've drawn his general shape, we can finalize the lines. Make sure to slightly curve the corners of the blocks. Once we have the final drawing, we can trace it with a marker. Then use an eraser to erase the pencil lines. Then we can start coloring. Use a black crayon to color in the pupils of his eyes. Remember to leave the white spot for his reflection. Then use the brown crayon for his spikes, eyelids, and lips. After that, Use a pink crayon to color over the brown crayon. Next, use the light green crayon to color the upper left edges of his mask, arms, and legs. Then use the darker green crayon to color in the rest. Now it's time to color the blocks. Use the lighter pink crayon to color the upper left edges of his blocks. Then use the darker pink crayon to color the rest. Next, use the black crayon to add shadows on the bottom right edges of the blocks, opposite the lighter shade of pink. Also on the lower right edges of his mask. Add shadows too on the inner and under parts of his arms. Shadows give her drawing a more three-dimensional look. 
You can also add a shadow under his feet so it will make him look like he's standing on the ground. And of course, don't forget to draw his numberling. Once done, you can already stop here or you can proceed to blending and smoothening out the colors with the use of a cotton bud. Just rub the tip over the colors to blend and smoothen them out. And there you have it! It's Octonauty! So which side are you on? If you like this video, hit the thumbs up icon and remember to subscribe! Thanks for watching! Bye!